not here tonight because Miss Calliope just flew nine hours all the way from Greece. So if it smells a little bit like souvlaki, it might be her. Give it up for Miss Calliope. Everybody, welcome, welcome. I just come from Greece, so that is why I sprained my hand. You see, people in Greece, we like to pack everything. When we go on vacation, we take everything with us. So I had to take all the spanakopita that I made for my family. I had to pack my all, all of the clothing I wear because I like to change every 10 minutes. And I had to pack my family. I had to pack my grandmother and my mother, you know? It's very heavy. And of course, I had to pack my goats. I'm not going to leave Greece without my goats for the summertime. Okay, so here. Who am I? My name is Miss Calliope. And I, hello. I used to be famous Greek personality in Greece. I, ha I had a television show. It was called Good Morning Athens. You are a beautiful person. You invented everything. <laughs> and I also used to be a famous accountant, an astrophysicist, and I had worked for Cirque du Soleil as a lion tamer. <laughs> you say, there's no lions in Cirque du Soleil, Miss Calliope. I say, yes, I know, because I bring them from my house. I bring the lions to the Cirque du Soleil from Greece. Okay, so here I tell you, for I, I, I had a very long time ago, my mother tell me, Miss Calliope, if you get married, you have to have good advice to make your husband very happy. So I'm passing down to you now, I call it my 50 plates of wisdom. But this edition is very special because I make the advice very specific to Melania Trump. <laughs> because now she is married to the most famous and probably the most dangerous person in the world. She needs advice, right? And we have a lot in common, you see. Bless you. She ha we have a lot in common, Miss. Melania Trump he has the exotic accent, so do I. She comes from another country, so do I. And we are both stunningly beautiful. And we have both been thrust into the public spotlight inadvertently. So, Melania, this is for you if you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> Always shave your legs or wear long pants. <laughs> because you know what happened is that when you, in Greece, we like to let everything grow. You know, it's natural, we let the hair grow, right? So it's like, Melania should not have like the light hair like I have, her hair is very dark. So you know when she let the hair grow on her legs, she looked like a gorilla. So it's like nobody wants to have a first lady gorilla in the White House. So it's like, okay, Melania, you shave your legs or wear long pants. Next one here. Keep your eyes closed and your legs open. <laughs> I did that for my first three marriages and it worked. <laughs> so Melania, to avoid conflict in the bedroom, keep your eyes closed and your legs open. You know, because I'm telling you, when your husband goes downstairs, he does his business, you know, you close your eyes. And you know, for me, I go to Santorini, Greece, and I'm lying on the beach. But for you, Melania, perhaps your exotic places Sucks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> so, but for you, Melania, keep your eyes closed, your legs open, and your ears blocked. Because Mr. Donald Trump, you can, it's too much scary what he says, you know, so it's coming from his crazy mouth, all his lies, whatever. So everything is blocked. Next one. Keep your eyes open and your mouth closed. This one is in direct contrast to the other plate. <laughs> so, Malani, I tell you this because you're a beautiful lady, but nobody cares what you have to say. <laughs> you're from other place. You do not know anything about American 
Carlson? You do not know anything about Oprah Winfrey or Kentucky Fried Chicken or Walmart? That is the quintessential American experience. So you, in public, you keep quiet. This is a famous one, I, I hope she like. Be a whore in the bedroom, but a lady in the White House. <laughs> Because behind closed doors, you can be anybody's bitch. <laughs> but in the White House, you have a personality, you have a very look to make. You know, you have to be refined. You have to be elegant, like Michelle Obama or Nazi Reagan. Beautiful ladies. So, you know, keep the slutting to somebody who is professional, like Madonna. <laughs> it's true, she's been doing it for 40 years. She's very good at it. <laughs> okay, this is my last plate, I hope you like. If you do not swallow, be proud to spit. <laughs> for the new free trade agreement. <laughs> but who? For you, when you have the meeting with Kim Jong-ul, and specifically good luck for Ptu, so that you do not get impeached. <laughs> okay, everybody, that is me.